Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Gabriel Uldau, Sweden. And on my left, Pablo Abian, Spain. Pablo Abian to serve. Love all. Play. Welcome back. Next match, as you can see on court, is men's Service singles. Over. Back with commentary for this match. One. Mark Love. Steven with you again alongside me, Alastair Casey. Hello, hello. singles, Gabriel Uldau. The Swedish national champion, actually, Gabriel Uldau. And uh, against the veteran now of European badminton, Pablo Abian of Spain. Two. Uldau and White. Love. Pablo, uh, Pablo I like to run, Abian. I like to lift. Yeah. Interesting head to head. It's the Swede with the advantage. Three game win in the Spanish Open in 2012. And Uldal playing a lot more now and uh, much more focused Service on his over. game. And uh, I think this one. will be a very, very difficult match Two. for Pablo. Oh, I, I, I think Pablo's got this one. I'm taking bets here, but uh, I've been wrong with all my predictions so far. But I can't see past Pablo. In this. No disrespect to that. Two. All. Pablo certainly in the back, coming on here in the back with some some form, winning the Welsh international last week. Three the title that he's maintained from the year before. So Wales always been good, for the Spaniard. I just think uh, particularly slow hall, perfectly suited to Pablo. Speaking to Sam, he was saying the shuttles are a little faster today. Sam McGee in his interview, so. Uh, we still we're watching these games. Nobody's hitting out the back. There's a lot of short lengths. We don't have the perfect camera angle here, but the key thing is uh, the smashes are just not as hard. The attack is, is not as powerful. Three. As the slower home. Oh. The rallies are longer. Slower and lower. Service over. Four. An three. Error from Uldal, certainly one of those early match errors where you're not warmed up and not really into the game as of yet. Service over. I think that has to be uh, Gabriel's uh, plan today. He has to. He has to use the front Four. All. This is what Pablo loves to do. He loves to get his players into energy sapping mode. Looks a little technically wrong sometimes, but we can do that all the time. Certainly be warm after this rally. <laughs> the air. Service over. Blowing the air from his opponent, Abian. Bye. Good rally. 
semi-final for me. There's only one winner if the game gets played like this. Pablo's quite happy to do this all day. Seven, four. Pablo's team more sponsors than, uh, than most players. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's a sign of the times. As you get older, the opportunity is just not there as much as they used to be, and certainly I see it. Most brands are look now looking to sponsor Eight, young four. junior talent. Pablo Abian got as high as world number 20 in the world at one point, currently 65. Service over. Five, eight. Bell. Gabriel Uldal. Seven. Eight. Three points in a row. Back to within one. Service over. Nine. Seven. Gabriel Uldal. Seven. Eight. Three points in a row. Back to within one. Good shot to cut out wide. Pablo Service over. It looked mud as if it had been going out. Pablo taking it. Service over. Eight. Eight. Four. It's a couple of times. Nine. Combined the cuts with the. Nine. Seven. Very well. Gabriel Uldal. Seven. Eight. Three points in a row. Nine. Starting to find some momentum. Oh. Good shot to cut out wide. Pablo Stavros. Seven over. Looked at mud as if it had been going out. Pablo taking it. Ten. Seven over. Eight. Nine. Eight. Four. It's a couple of times. Nine. Combined the cuts with the... Nine. Seven. Five from the last six points. Going to the Swede. Eleven, nine, interval. Uldal also fell. Fishing in men's doubles. Yeah, really Uldal in that flat play. He's Eight. quite keen and quite confident. Starting to find some flat oh. changes. I just think uh, Pablo's a little guilty here, but uh, he's always pushing off the net. Uh, Good shot to cut uh, out wide. See that Udal's uh, when he's had his opportunities at the net, he's played tight. He's, uh, he's moving Abian a little more effectively. 
I don't think, uh, as you've uh, pointed out, that Vidal's going to have any problem with uh, pushes at the body and dealing with it quite quickly. Court five, 20 seconds. Court five, 20 seconds. 20 second call from the umpire. Thank you, coach. Ready to play? Eleven. Oh, prediction I'm going to be wrong with. Right? Maybe. Can't get anything right. Ah, oh, it's just I've seen Gabriel play for four years now. He started off a couple of years ago. Looked like the real deal, but then I think service over. Was out of the national system. I think he went away and found himself, <laughs> and uh, came back this year. Well, probably this time last year. Maybe a little before, towards the start of the season last year for sure. And then went and won the uh, Swedish Nationals, beating Henry. 12, Skynen 10. In the final. Has been playing some really good controlled badminton. He doesn't, he's not a guy that gets flustered against a higher ranked player. And uh, it's always very composed. 11, 12. Pablo. Pablo, on the other hand, has been in and out of the game for the last year. Oh. Not playing as much since the Olympics in London and uh, picking and choosing tournaments. Not in the national centre. So, um, to me, you know, that, that has to make a difference. Oh, well played. Oh, you have to remain concentrated, old Alan over. certainly did. 13, yeah, anything can 12. Happen. That's a nice... That's the over. first time, though, that I've seen Abin actually start to, uh, to use more of the court. 13. He needs to get his margins further away. Oh. Pablo getting a little bit more aggressive. 14. 13. Even there, I think Pablo's net is just not tight enough. I don't think he's, uh, he's, his net is strong Service enough. Over. <laughs> Lucky for Gabriel because his string went mid rally. 14. Played oh. half of that rally. A flat tire. Style has always been Pablo. Very much. It's like a uh, charge. He pushes at you and he comes at you. 
A lot of players get frustrated with him, but he's, he's very consistent as well. Taking control now. Yeah, good spell. 18, 15. Court lift never high enough or never deep enough from Uldal. 1915. Step us over. Six replay. 19. Good reply from Uldal. Looked like he said was getting away from him. 19. Take it, he'll feel he's back and the momentum has swung his way. Pablo takes it, it's game point. Yeah. It's over. Good angle into the body. He loves it, he loves to do that. He loves to come and then just keep pressing at the body. 20. Hover game point. 18. It's the Spaniard who reaches game point. 2018. Pablo likes to do from the forehand side. He loves to come across 19, court. 20. 20. High at the net. He likes to get you in one corner and keep you in one corner. Yeah. Looked like it may have been drifting out. Edgy rally. Ooh. Oh. And the net again of Abien. You know, he the opportunity was there to play a nice 20. tight spinning net shot. Even just oh. a simple net shot probably would have brought the lift again from Uldal and uh, yeah. then an easy smash to follow up. Just, uh, sometimes Pablo at the net is just a little bit fickle. Oh. This time the lift and the smash. Game point again. The Spaniard. Service over. 21. 20. Swede hanging in there. Good comeback. Trailed. 19-15. So still in this game. Oh. oh. Oh, oh, it went hey. over. <laughs> Pablo uh, finally decided to play some good net. Unbelievable. All the, <laughs> all the negativity we've been speaking about Pablo and his net, and then he pulls that out. I only need one net shot. That's next shot. 
what a net, what a time to play it. Game point. I think uh, I think Uldal had. I thought the thought game was done. Yeah. Thought the rally was over. Fantastic shot from the Spaniard. Takes the first game, but uh, I th think he certainly knows he's in a game. I take it all back. Pablo's net is awesome. <laughs> but that's that's him. You know, we've seen him over the years. He, he can he can do amazing shots and then come and have the easiest smash in the world and drive it straight into the net. You know, so uh, you never really know what you're going to get. I like Pablo's style of play. I like how he tries to play. It might not be the most glamorous sometimes to watch, but he, he strategically he tries to get his opponent into a corner and then just keeps them there and keeps eating at them. And he's, he's quite happy to do it. Keep doing it. Speaking of eating, I'm hungry. I've only had one banana this morning. You're not even a coffee drinker? No. Your catering will arrive pretty shortly. It better. For Pablo back out on court. Still some discussions court going five, on with the Swedish side seconds. of the net. Court five, 20 seconds. Second game, Lavo, play. Navian, or Uldal, whoever should win this will go through to meet top seed Vila Lang in the next round. Finn victorious over Irish qualifier Jonathan Dolan in three games. with a 360 there. Oh, that's lovely. Service over. The wrist at the net. One. From the Swede. Wow. Thank you. Getting the court clean here a little. Sweat starting to come off. No chance for a towel down there for Pablo. Top half of the draw really packed with quality. Lang. Luca, Luca who is a really fantastic player. I love to watch Nuluka One play. And, uh, play. Johan Tan has already come through. He's been told to take place today as well. Yeah. Joachim Persson struggling, back. but coming through, I think, in three games, all in the top half of the draw. The Domke brothers playing each other. I wonder how many times that's happened. Probably at Scrabble many times at home or whatever, but uh, not too many times in international badminton. Well, they're in a, they're in a three set as well. Two, love. I think the majority of the young female fans are up for Gabriel Uldal in this match. Think so? Yeah. Well, they have to. Why is that? Thunder sticks and they're banging them away when Uldal wins a point. Three. Oh, I just think they're cheering Love. for everybody. They were cheering for Pablo. Got that Latin look. Like he travels Latin look. <laughs> nice return. Taking the power off, going for accuracy. Great start for the second set. Four. Love. Conversation with himself. He's like, I, I don't want to win this. Too. 
I only went three seconds. Six love, though. Yeah. Six love. Seven silver. Lazy looking return from Pablo. One. And Goldad certainly had the chance to pounce on that at the net. Service over. That rally just a comedy of errors from both men. Seven. Pablo just looks to have One. switched off a little bit. You know, it's a little bit early in this game, but we, you know, you certainly see time in the game tends to have drifted away from players. Maybe two nine points behind, and they just uh, let it go. But, but not. It's too early in the game for this, so it's just a focus and a concentration issue for Pablo right now. Seven over. For, for either player to do that, be allowed to get away with it. Eight, two. Back into the open court. Two. But Pablo not even decided to chase. I wonder if he's like, it seems to me like he's already given up on this game. That's, you know, that's what I was thinking, Alistair, but I'm thinking it's too early in the game for that. Maybe he's just warming up his running shoes. Pa what Pablo likes to do when he gets into circumstances like this, he just starts hitting high up the middle and just we'll see it may, it may start to happen he may start to just putting it very high nine. trying to drain uh, his opponent and straight them as well and there it goes yeah he's just decided I'm going to stop attack Out, called out. Ooh. Four. Ooh. I was just out. Nine. See it again in the replay. Yeah. <laughs> Close. No cigar that time. Service uh, over. That's one of my favorite shots in Babbitt. You, know, you hear club players talking about oh, Ten. Is it, how is it clear in this Four. shot? You see, there's a perfect example of it. Punch clear can be very effective sometimes. Oh yeah, around Service the head, stick smash cross court. Pablo, five, inching ten. his way back into it. Pablo's very dangerous in these circumstances. Three quarter smash. Slice. Six. Ten. Very steep dropping inside service line. just has to be a little bit careful here because Pablo, in my mind, has decided to shut up shop. Eight. I know Dal's still trying to force. I don't think he's uh, aware that uh, he's now, because of the way Pablo's playing, I think Odal's just over-attacking just a little bit. He has to consciously decide, I think, Nine. to be a little bit more patient with Pablo. Now. Just take a little second to think about what's happening because that's it back to 10-9 now. Oh, it's, superb cross net. it's certainly varying it. He's mixing it up a bit now, Alistair, I think, and he has... I think he's changed the game. I think oh. uh, that Udal's now playing the wrong shots, but, and, but, but Pablo's changed the game. Six in a row for the Spaniard. He 
even when Pablo's hitting down at the moment, it's just safely into the court, hit and run. 11, 10, Somehow from interval. nowhere, the Spaniard takes the interval lead, 11, 10. Seven points in a row? Yeah, seven on the bounce, and uh, Uldal from a strong position. Rem remember, six love, he went into the lead in this game, and then leading again, 10-4. I'm trading by one at the interval, 11-10. I've seen Pablo do this so many times. He reaches a point where this is getting a little bit out of hand, it's getting a little bit far away, and then he just shuts up shop and starts hitting it off the middle of the court. And he just disables the game. Not yeah, it's, it's just neutralizing the rallies and uh, it's just disabled the game. And what do you do when someone starts playing like this against you? You have to be patient, you can't over attack. 11, 10. Well, play. you can if it's working, and it's not working at the moment for Odell. So he has, to, he has to be a little bit more patient and careful. Good smash, good defense. Swede cannot buy a point at the moment. 12, 10. Eight points. And it's 13, not, not all Pablo. The Pablo is up in the air. at the moment. 14, 10. Yeah. Service over. Down in one knee. Freeing. Right, Judge. You know, I hate players with that. Wait, four, I hate people put the racket up at the net as well to intercept stuff. Point for the Swede certainly stopping the rot. Eleven fourteen. That's just a poor error now from Oldout. The attacking opportunity was certainly there. He had the right to go for 15, this match. 15, 11. Up the net. Not so good. Service over. Your lack of temperament coming out. Nabian. Pablo, uh, the way that he's 12, well, I think he's realized he's 15. Well. It's essential that he doesn't give away any easy points. I think Udal in the last 10 minutes or so has started to look like a little bit exasperated. Nothing's working and what do I do? Pablo can't do that, can't change the game on himself and let uh, Udal back in. 13! A little bit 15. sloppy. Now. I think uh, Pablo's been uh, very, very good with his strategy in this game so far, but needs to stay on. Is he going to do it again? Yeah. yeah. I've seen him do it. the rallies. I've seen him do it so many times. And what, what he creates is he creates mistakes. He, he makes players play against them. 16, 13. If he makes a few mistakes, Pablo, he opts immediately for safety. And he's confident in his defense that he can play with height. Out. I think Pablo should maintain what he's doing. I think he's a huge height. Plays 14, strengths. 16. Snatchy, 
smash action from the Spaniard. Honestly, I think Pablo's just again attacking a little bit too much again. 15, 16. He's done all the hard work to get himself uh, in a strong position in this game, and now he's decided to start attacking again. Maybe he needs to go behind. He'll play a little better. See there, more height. Over. from his opponent. Every time he utilizes more height in his lifts and his clears, he's winning the point. 17. He's giving himself more time 15. to defend. And also, I think Udal's getting a little frustrated. Swede needs to also remember that he's still in this. Only two point gap. Look, it could have been heading out. Three sixty Pablo. Oh, again. Soak it up, lift it, extend the rallies, and then draw the air from your opponent. Pablo, keep the height in the lift, and I think this game is yours. It's very damaging to play against an opponent this way. Make players not want to play. We've seen a few points here where Udal is starting to look like he just doesn't have answers. 18, 15. Better from Old Alec. Slight bit more patient. Good net. One of our themes again about having a uh, national coach sitting in the is, I think uh, Fernando, who we mentioned earlier, would be encouraging Pablo on every point here. Stop attacking, stop the flat lifts, just stick with the game that's working. I think when Pablo's played his rallies out, in a specific way, be quite successful, and then he just goes back to attacking the it's over. And Just be patient. The game he's doing is working. 1916, the Spaniard. Edging 19. The second 16. round. Match point, Pablo Albion. Match point, 16. Game. That's it. <laughs> and the crowd go wild. And honestly, the crowd are cheering for everybody. Yeah, yeah, whoever wins, they're cheering for. But uh, I think in the <laughs> end, <laughs> Pablo. I think I just want a coffee there. <laughs> Letting his opponent get on the attack Thank and then forcing so many errors from Uldal. Uldal became a little bit disorientated and uh, lost his way and ran out of options really. Had no plan B. But this is Pablo's style. Pablo has, has been very strong and very effective in the past in playing in this way. Just shutting up shop and frustrating opponents. So it's Abian uh, who advances to the next round. Two set win, 21-16 in the second. Next match on court. Well, men's singles will be Lucas Schmidt for Germany against Kieran Merlis from Scotland, the number eight seed.